Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we'll do an Hermes unboxing, although most of the items do not come in a box, and you'll see why later. This is much more of a collective haul. I'm not sure when I'll get around to editing and posting this video, but I'm filming at the beginning of the summer. The first two items I purchased on one shopping trip to Hermes, and I bought the second two items during a separate visit a couple of weeks later. Okay, let's get right into the unboxing. You guys may remember that I got a pair of Hermes sneakers last year at the Hermes sample sale in October and those sneakers were an absolute disaster. I wore them one time and the heels of my feet were absolutely raw. What I didn't realize at the time was that there was a piece of hard plastic or hard leather at the back and your feet basically rubbed up against them the entire time and I'm not even sure if it's possible to break in an issue like that. Maybe you could wear three or four pairs of socks to prevent your heels from rubbing, but essentially what I realized is that I usually go a half a size up for sneakers, and I did that with these sneakers as well, but for those sneakers, you really have to go true to size because you don't want your feet to move around at all. You want them to be as close fitting as possible, which you wouldn't know unless you bought those shoes and try it. I think those sneakers would work perfectly for someone that's a true 37 and a half, but those are just just definitely not the shoes to size up in. But every other aspect of those shoes were super comfortable. So I got rid of those shoes, and you know it had to be bad because I rarely get rid of anything from Hermes. Thankfully I didn't lose any money because I bought them for 50% off at the Hermes sale last year. And so I tried to replace them with black Chanel trainers. I ordered them and Chanel canceled my order. So I'm still in the market for a pair of black sneakers, but instead I put the money towards the these sneakers. So these are the white day sneakers with rose gold hardware. I am absolutely in love with these sneakers. I have turned down a couple of rose gold bags already, but having these sneakers really makes me appreciate rose gold. I plan to wear these sneakers all summer. If you own these, please tell me if you find them to be comfortable. I did size up to a size 37 and a half, which is a US size 7. So I'm sure you guys know this, but I used to think that you US and European sizes were equivalent in that a 37 and a half meant a US size 7 and a half and that's not actually the case. A 37.5 is actually equivalent to a US 7. I always thought that I went up in European sizes but that's not necessarily the case. So I'm a true size 37 which is actually a US women's 6 and a half but for these shoes I did size up to a 37.5 which is is a US size 7. Here's my next item. It did not come with a box. This is a hat, cap, baseball cap, whatever you want to call it. As you guys may remember, I bought two hats, one of which was a baseball cap at the Hermes sale last year. I wear that dark blue baseball cap all the time, so I wanted one in a lighter color. I've been asking my essay for one all year with no luck until now. This will be a great cap for me to wear all summer. They didn't have any boxes, and this is actually a box that I would take because I'd like to store this and my other Hermes caps all in one box so that they don't get crushed. I did set this down on a chair in my bedroom, forgot it was there, and my daughter sat on it. So it did get a little crushed in the front, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. So even though I don't take boxes for clothing items, because I don't store clothes in boxes and I don't use those boxes for display, so it would just be a real waste for me to take them just to be able to unbox in a YouTube video video. Hats are something that I would take a box for. I'm not sure what this hat is called, but here's the tag. I believe it was $450, and this is a size 57. It is adjustable, and I wear it on the tightest fitting adjustment. And here's the very cute pattern on the inside. The material is a light cotton canvas, so when it gets really dirty, I'll read the directions. If I can't just throw it in the washing machine, then I will dry clean it. So my next item is another dress. I fell in love with Hermes dresses after the one that I showed you in my last collective haul video. The materials are so good, they're so comfortable to wear, and I knew after I got that first dress that Hermes clothes would work well for me. 
Hermes clothes aren't absurdly expensive. They also don't have any wacky details that look great on the runway, but I wouldn't wear in real life. They're not trendy and the quality is so good that they will last for many, many years to come. So I'm not sure if I said it in my last video, but I'll say it here. Hermes clothes don't photograph very well. I'm not sure how it's coming across in this video, but they look so good on. But the pictures on the website and even looking at this dress here in the video, it doesn't really look that special, but trust me, it looks and feels great on. Here's the next dress. I'm sorry, it's really wrinkled. I probably should have steamed it for this video, but oh well. I never saw this particular color on the website, but if I can find another color in the same style, I'll insert it here. Really simple t-shirt dress. Both of the dresses were 9-10 and I got them both in a size 38 and they're both really really comfortable. So let me know what you think about the items in this Hermes haul. I think I got some really great pieces that really fit my personal style and especially for the Hermes dresses, I think their cotton dresses are really good value for money. Just to put it in perspective for you, I try to find a simple cotton piece from Chanel just for comparison. So for the price of these two dresses which were $910 each, I'm not sure if the price has gone up since then, all that I could find at Chanel at that time in terms of ready to wear was this crop top because I was looking for something comparable. These are very basic casual summer runaround type dresses. Of course these dresses are not comparable to exquisitely made Chanel tweed jackets or some of their more intricate knits. So I didn't want to look at anything with embellishments because I don't really think that that's a fair comparison. Similarly, I would not compare these dresses to any of the Hermes skirts or dresses in silk and leather appliques because that's just comparing apples to oranges. I just could not believe that this was all that I could find at Chanel at this price point. So I'm just showing you this to really illustrate the value that I find in Hermes ready to wear. Additionally, I found that Hermes is one of the few luxury brands that don't go logo heavy on their more casual pieces. So they aren't t-shirts with Hermes in bold letters on the front. Rather, they're more likely to incorporate the symbols that are well known to the brand, such as the Shandong or the particular theme for that season, like horses or robots, etc. Part of the reason that I struggle with more casual ready-to-wear pieces, other than the price point, and that's a huge part of it, I just also don't like the incorporation of brand names into sweaters and t-shirts. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. The Chanel emblazoned across a shirt or the famous Balenciaga logo sweaters, Jadior. So I totally get and appreciate that that is an aesthetic. It's just not my aesthetic. So it's almost as if a brand like Chanel believes that the customer who's buying their lower end of ready to wear. So a $2,000 t-shirt as opposed to an eight to $10,000 blazer really wants everyone to know that they're wearing Chanel. And I see this with many luxury brands. The lower end ready to wear pieces are very logo heavy, whereas the pricier pieces are much more subtle. So I can really appreciate brands like Bottega Veneta, Laura Piana, The Row, and of course Hermes, where I can find well-made but also subtle under the radar pieces that are more my style, irregardless of the price point. Just to be very clear, I am saying that logo heavy clothing items aren't my style, but I'm not saying that they're tacky. One of my biggest pet peeves on social media is people who call other people tacky just because they have a personal style that's very different from their own. Just because something is not my aesthetic doesn't mean that someone who has the opposite aesthetic is tacky. One other brief tangential aside, you may notice that the only clothes that I show on my channel are from Hermes, and that's by design. Firstly, I don't have and or buy very many clothes. You may be surprised by this, but I'd say that I buy less than 10 pieces of clothing every year and I'm counting everything. So a tank top would count as one of the 10 pieces that I bought in a given year. That's just my personality. I don't like buying and or having a ton of stuff, but I will say that the clothes that I have are fairly good quality. I do have some one-off designer pieces from Gucci, Narciso Rodriguez, Saint Laurent, Balenciaga. Almost all of my winter wear cashmere wool came from Barney's before they closed. Closed. But for the most part, I shop good quality high street. So Maj, Sandro, Theory, Reese, you get the vibe. And on the lower end, especially for basics like t-shirts,
Goods. I shop at J. Crew, The Gap, Uniqlo, Banana Republic. So that's the first reason I don't show clothes is that I don't buy very much. But the second reason is that I don't think it's that helpful to show clothes unless you model them at some point. And I very rarely take outfit selfies. But I say all this to say that I'm showing you clothes from Hermes because many of you are curious about and want to see all of the items that I buy. Even if they're not being modeled, you just want to see what they are. So I try to be cognizant of that and show you everything that I buy from this brand. The pieces that I showed you today were all spring summer, but I think fall winter is where Hermes really shines. So I'm very much looking forward to that in the future, especially now that I'm not that interested in adding many more Hermes bags to my collection. I can focus on the other metiers that the brand has to offer. So I think it would be lovely to pick up a couple of pieces on an annual basis, maybe a sweater or a cardigan. However, that's very hard to predict because it depends on the collection and of course availability, which always seems to be an issue with Hermes. So thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think of all the items that I got. Please subscribe to my channel. That would make my day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.